Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty nine in chapter twenty two. Chapter twenty two is about Gaussian's rule. We can see Gaussian's law. We can see. Uh, in this system, we have a non-conducting spherical object. So, keyword non-conducting. That means the charges will uniformly distributed on it, right? And it has a spherical curvature. The radius is r one. And then the total charge for this non-conducting spher spherical object is r naught. And then we know the charge Q is uniformly distributed on this shell. And then we need to determine the electric field density at for R at different locations. So for this one, first one, we can determine the charge density, right? The charge density is the total charge Q divided by volumes for this shell. Use the outer radius, right? Minus inner radius. So this is the Volumes for this、uh, shell, and then simplify, we get it there. Now, if we want to find the answer for the charges or for the electric field density, R is smaller than R one. R smaller than R one is there. If we draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one. Agree? If it look like this one, we can see apply Gaussian's rule, electric field density times the Gaussian surface. Equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, so we can write electric field density as enclosed charge divided by four pi epsilon naught r squared.、Mm -hmm. Now inside this Gaussian surface, is there any enclosed charge? No, right? Because the charge just located on this shell, so E equal to zero. The second one, if the Location is larger than R one, smaller than R naught. So in this case, we can still draw a Gaussian surface. Look like this one, and then we need to find the Gaussian's rule. Gaussian's law tells us the electric field density equals to this function, right? This term, and we need to find enclosed charge located inside this Gaussian surface. So this one we use the density, charge density, times the volumes for this shell from the R one to the R. So from the R one to the R, this this is this regions, this regions agree, these regions. So it looks like this one. Input is the charge density inside. Then you get the term for the enclosed charge. Input it in this function. You get the answer. Look like this one, right? The third one, R is larger than R naught. So the there we draw the Gaussian surface. Look like this one, and then we can see the enclosed charge is just equal to Q, right? To the Q, it tell us the Q is distributed on this shell. So the final answer look like this one. Thank you.